The whole tone scale is not diatonic, meaning it cannot be written as white notes in any of our 12 standard keys. Harmonic minor scales and jazz minor are also not diatonic for the same reason. Before we talk about the whole tone scale, let's listen to what it does. It is often used to represent dream sequences in video games and TV shows, especially when a scene is a bit mysterious. It is also used for effects that are a bit spooky or eerie. Here is just a little bit of my composition, Eerie, which I hope eventually all of my students will explore personally. There are only two whole tone scales. Each one uses exactly six of the possible 12 notes available to us. These two scales together use every white and every black note on the piano. Unlike more standard scales, there are only six notes in the whole tone scale rather than seven. Our staff was not designed for these whole tone scales. When we write out the two scales, they look rather odd because they appear to be uneven. We expect to see major seconds, but diminished thirds appear here and there rather unexpectedly. Our eyes tell us these scales are totally uneven, yet our ears inform us that they are totally even, and of course they are. Here is the first of the two scales starting on C, but starting on C is arbitrary because we can start on any note in the system. In this case, I have written the black notes as flats, so the diminished third is between E and G flat. That is a bump that is inevitable in our notation system. Here is that same scale using sharps. Note that it looks very different but sounds the same. Now the diminished third is between A sharp and C. Now let's examine the second of the two scales starting on B. Again, starting on B is arbitrary, because we can start on any note in the system. Once again, I have written the black notes as flats. This time, the diminished third is between B and D flat. Now let's look at that same scale using sharps. Now the diminished third is between D sharp and F. It's like the uneven bump keeps moving to a different place. There is no incorrect way to write the scale unless we use the same letter twice in a row. Normally we avoid that because it's confusing to the eyes. Here is an example of what this incorrect notation would look like. See if you can see logically why we avoid this. The whole tone scale is a great way to understand six of our standard intervals and why some of them are missing universal names. Listen as I play these six intervals. Now you have an overview of how we use whole tone scales and some of the things they can be used for. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave comments about what you like, comments about what you would like to see in the future, and remember that I consider all suggestions.